Welcome back, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. New information tonight and an April Fool's joke that went wrong. Last Friday, we first told you about the prank that landed a local woman and her nephew in trouble. Lorraine police responded to a house on Lorraine's west side after a reported shooting. It turned out the whole thing was a bad joke. Now, a News Channel 5 exclusive, Ted Cortan, talked to the woman facing charges, and we hear the 911 call that caused all the trouble. Lorraine police, can I help you? The caller was frantic. Oh, my God. Oh, hello? The details frightening. I'm at work. My friend's going to call me so my daughter got shot. And, my kids are there. and the Lorraine police responded in force. Five or six other officers responded with their lights and sirens going. We didn't know what we were getting into. A few minutes later, they find out it was all a farce. He said, Grandma TT, you know, got shot. She got hurt. Tiffany Moreland says she and her nephew were playing April Fool's Day pranks on family and friends. But when the 12-year-old boy called his grandmother at work, things went too far. And before he could say, Grandma, April Fool's Day, my mother hung up the telephone and called 911. When we tried to call her back to, you know, say April Fool's Day, the line was busy. By then, Grandma was on the phone with emergency dispatch. Please get the 2635 down Lexington Avenue. Oh, please. Sergeant Mark Carpentier was the first officer on the scene. I had to approach the house, and uh, uh, it's kind of a scary situation, not knowing what's happening and taking someone's shot. A short time later, the hysterical Grandma called back. But they just called back. He was... He was lying. He did April Fool, but you don't do that. Okay. I could have a heart attack from that. I understand. In the end, the police are none too happy. It could have been a really uh, dangerous situation for the officers responding, and uh, we didn't think it was very funny. Tiffany Moreland was cited for making false alarms. She faces jail time and a fine. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. There's no more April Fool's Day. It has officially been canceled for me and my nephew. On your side in Lorraine, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5. Well, Tiffany Moreland will be in court tomorrow for this incident. Her nephew faces charges later in juvenile court.